Okay, so um, uh, uh, very welcome uh, to this lecture. It's really great to see that such a lot of people are interested in the topic. And uh, we uh, from the, uh, we organized this lecture from the FRU, from the uh, Free Workers Union, and we are very proud and happy to um, have Diane and Jamila here, who will do uh, the lecture. Um, Uh, I will just do a quick introduction and then we already start. So, uh, Diane um, is from uh, the FBLP, the um, Across Factories Labor Union in uh, Jakarta in Indonesia. It's a feminist union. Um, and Jamila is also from, uh, from the Dabindo Collective, which is mainly organizing in free trade zones in Sri Lanka and also organizing, and they are both organizing women in the garment or textile sector. And so they uh, will both do a, each a presentation about 30 minutes each. And after this, uh, we can uh, have a discussion um, on... Um, the, on the working conditions there, but maybe uh, mainly on um, how uh, we, uh, we can, uh, and also questions of course, and maybe mainly how uh, we can organize here to support uh, their struggles as probably all of us mainly uh, wear clothes which are produced there. So, yeah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. You can hear my voice, right? <laughs> um, I will um, uh, first. I want to introduce the backgrounds of Indonesia. Indonesia is a big country. It's archipelago country. The population is uh, two hundred and seventy million, with thirty-four provinces. Yeah. Um, after Suharto's regime fall in 1998, uh, we have a, a freedom association. Before, only one type of uh, union allowed by the government. But uh, after Suharto's uh, regime fall, uh, we enjoy the freedom association. And in 2010, 9 million workers unionized, 91 federations. 14,000 unions in plant level or in manufacturer level, and three confederations. In 2018, 2.7 million unionized, 120 federations, 7,000 unions in plant level or manufacturer level, 14 confederations. So uh, the workers who are unionized uh, were now are now decreased. Um, in we have a history of um, a struggle from the common issue. The common issue are wages raising or living wage, uh, contract and outsource system. Um, and uh, in 2011, uh, we have a method of direct action. Uh, it started in Bekasi. Bekasi is in West Java. It's near with Jakarta. And the method is like uh, you strike uh, in the one manufacturer. And when you win, you go to another manufacturer uh, in one industrial park in Bekasi. It's a huge industrial park. And then after that, uh, go to another manufacturer and one industrial park... Uh, it's a strike. It happens more than one month and maybe three months. And also it happened in Jakarta also, although it's not very big. But in, after that, the leaders, the two leaders of the leaders of biggest trade union uh, agree 
have agreement with the military and the police uh, to stop the direct action and then the police and the military then uh, repressive become repressive and attack the workers who who strike so the strike uh, the direct action is not only strike in the manufacture but also uh, another method like uh, occupy um, the labor um, it's not uh, the governor the office of governor and also the office of uh, labor department in the Bekasi and also occupying the highway roads etc and then uh, in the national strike in 2012, 12, 2 million workers mobilized in some province. Uh, 2013, uh, 2.5 million mobilized. And 2015, 500,000. So it was decreased uh, because uh, in 2013, after the strike, the government with the military and police uh, attack uh, directly in the manufacturing. So they have guns, uh, etc. And many workers injured uh, in the second strike. But in 2015, uh, the region or the industrial park who have who had strike uh, increased. So it's about 55 industrial park strike in 2015 although the mobilization uh, were dis decreased the result uh, of course uh, when uh, we have direct action the workers become permanent workers a hundred percent and in 2013 uh, the wage raising about 48 percent and it's uh, after, before it ever happened before in 1970 in 1997 when Suharto's regime uh, attacked uh, no there when many demonstrations <coughs> against Suharto regime the wage raising about 232 232 after the wage raising raising in 2013 uh, the President Jokowi uh, released a regulation, it's a presidential regula president regulation that mentioned uh, the wage raising will follow the inflation and the maximum is only 11%. That's why in 2015 we have a strike again, but uh, we still do not win. Uh, at that time, uh, 26 activists uh, arrested by the police. And yeah, uh, my union, uh, we are struggle for uh, women workers, as workers and as women. So we join in the uh, women movement and workers movement. Yeah, as uh, the problem of women workers, uh, as workers, the, they are low wage. In 2013, when uh, the result of the strike, the wage raising until 48%, the government workers uh, didn't get it. So then we have uh, like uh, the government, uh, many company, government companies propose like, uh, oh, we cannot pay the raising, the wage, uh, and they propose like to uh, propose to the government so that they can pay under minimum wage and the government uh, make it so the government workers didn't enjoy the 48 uh, raising another sectors got it like uh, automotive and also electronics yeah and also about maternity leave yeah uh, as a women workers Many women workers um, didn't get maternity leave. They are afraid of uh, dis become dismissed by the boss because when the boss know uh, the workers pregnant, they will fire. They will fire the workers. And also period leave, yeah, in our labor law since uh, 1958, uh, we there is uh, 
period leave ya yeah. two days off when we have period um, but uh, it's difficult to get the period uh, because the boss will intimidate you you are not allowed uh, the day off it's like yeah, you have to fighting first for the rights although although it's uh, written in our labor law long hours working uh, of course in our labor law it's eight hours per day but uh, the workers uh, should uh, like uh, uh, signing the absence yeah signing a paper that they uh, leave they going home at 4 p.m in the afternoon but actually uh, they going home at 9 11 because they have to fulfill the targets of the clothes yeah and no overtime payment yeah so that there is no payment for the overtime they still recorded as yeah then the company or the boss have proof that the workers uh, finish the job at four they are going home at four not at five not at nine so that no overtime payment and relocation of manufacturers to uh, regions uh, which is the wage are cheaper nowadays uh, many uh, manufacturers are uh, relocated to central java especially because in central java the wage is the cheap is cheaper in jakarta um, the minimum wage is about maybe uh, 200 or about 250 euros per month but in central java it's only 100 euros a month so it's cheaper also the land still many land in central java to build manufacture in jakarta already full no land anymore and as women uh, the workers the women workers experience sexual harassment um, also double burden as a wife and also as a workers they work at home they work at the working place and if uh, they work also as a unionist they have uh, like a limited time uh, to join in organization and in our uh, law we have a marriage marriage law that mention uh, the obligation of husband as breadwinner the obligation as wife is a uh, domestic work so uh, it influence the wages the salary if you are male or man you can get the uh, allowance of a wife and children if you are women your sen in your salary you will not get allowance of husband and children so it's influence unequal pay unequal pay although in our labor law uh, mentioned that no discrimination uh, based on gender so it should be equal but the company and the government follow the marriage law and this is the yeah this is the women workers problem uh, contract system lack of information low wage long hours child care also debt because the minimum wage is not enough family's control especially from the husband so need uh, like a permission for the husband to join in organization to be active in public uh, area yeah this is the gender-based violence uh, in indonesia um, in kbn cakung industrial park uh, this is an industrial park in north jakarta mostly garment 56.4 percent uh, women experience sexual harassment and in indonesia 44 percent women workers uh, experience sexual harassment in 2001 until 2011 every day 35 women become the victim of sexual violence 
This is the information from National uh, Women Commission. Ya. Yeah. Uh, KBN Cakung uh, produce uh, Gap, Zara, H&M, Nike, Adidas, Esprit, and now uh, in KBN Cakung it's a uh, 30 manufacturers. Ya. Yeah. And 30,000 workers. And this is the example of our demonstration. Uh, this is the workers dismissed because the manufacturer moved to Central Java. Yeah, and the right one, the picture, is the solidarity from FAO Hamburg. And this is May Day, Alliance of May Day. We join in global uh, May Day of FAO. And it also happens in another province. In Bandung, uh, in May Day, a uh, hundred anarchist group, group arrested. And until now, uh, anarchist is uh, prohibited in Indonesia. So when you uh, wear black clothes in a demonstration, the police can arrest. Yeah. And this is uh, our slogan, victims become survivor, means that Uh, women workers uh, not only unite as victims but also as a survivor. Uh, so we focus now in GBV, gender-based violence. Yeah, sorry. And we have two two program. The first is a uh, sorry, the picture. Warning board installation. So this uh, warning board is uh, this industrial park free from sexual harassment. So we demand to the management of industrial park to install this thing, this board, so that it's like a support to the victims of sexual harassment that we are not alone. Yeah, uh, the sexual harassment is recognized. It happened, and also it's like a warning for the harasser. And this is the help desk women workers for complain, so that uh, if women workers uh, experience sexual harassment, they can come to this uh, help desk women workers and report the case. But actually, it still uh, become one with the security post because the management of industrial park still didn't want to uh, build new building. But finally, they build it because they have agreement with the uh, women ministry, and yeah, they leave us behind. So they uh, officially build the uh, build the uh, help desk women workers. And not recognize us, but the women ministry said, uh, make a statement that the volunteers or the women workers who become the volunteers of the help desk women workers can is under the responsibility of uh, women ministry. Yeah, the in the the management of industrial park uh, didn't like us as a union because we have a long long history of conflict. Yeah, and this is Marcina. Uh, Marcina is a uh, women workers who was murdered by Suharto's regime by the military because uh, demand on wage raising for 200 rupiah. He she is in a uh, Sukoharjo is Java. Oh, Sidoarjo, sorry, Sidoarjo is Java. Um, she was killed and yeah. Uh, There is a gun shot in her vagina and make a hole in his. And until now, it was closed. The government didn't admit it as a human rights uh, violence. That's why we make uh, the name of Marcina as our radio, our community radio. Yeah, Marcina FM. We produce a documentary film. Uh, the first documentary film about sexual harassment uh, in working place uh, by women workers. Yeah, it pro the film produced by uh, women workers. Also, and now we are in the process of a second documentary film. So it's like a method to send the message in an in interactive way. 
the film. And this is the second one. This is the second documentary film still in the process. So if you want to support us, um, I have a postcard. There is a, my email in the postcard. Here you can ask me after the discussion. Thank you very much. October 7th has been declared, declared as a December day by International Labour Organization. The aim was to ensure the social protection, dignity and social dialogue of the workers. If we take the working condition in Sri Lanka, especially in apparel industry, these uh, requirements are not taken into uh, consideration at all. Uh, recognizing the importance of collective advocacy and lobby effect, some of the trade union and women organizations working for the rights of women workers in Sri Lankan apparel industry commence working collectively. Dabidu Collective, which I uh, represent, uh, has been fostering a, a society in which the right and the dignity of women workers in, is recognized and safeguard. Uh, we have been publishing a newspaper for 35 years addressing addressing the issues of uh, workers in the free trade zone and uh, though our struggle who our struggle we have achieved to uh, obtain some basic rights of favor of workers before ta talking about our struggle i would like to give an account of the general working condition and the issue faced by the workers of free trade zone Apparel industry, which is op uh, operated in free trade zone, is a key export industry of Sri Lanka since its economic liberation in 1977, almost uh, 40 years. There are uh, altogether 12 uh, free trade zone in the uh, in Sri Lanka. The industry share uh, share of export earning is about 50 percent. The total value of export of apparel was about uh, 5 uh, US dollars billion. The contribution of the industry to the trading sector GDP, GDP, GDP is 20%. The makes for Sri Lanka apparel are mainly uh, the UK, USA and other U European countries. The factories uh, cater to some some of high-end uh, brands, Victoria's Secret, Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, H&M, Gap, Nike, Walmart, multinational company makes immense profit. Uh, at least a reasonable part of part is not being paid for the labor of workers. Only meager percentages of one, about 1 to 3 uh, percent of value of uh, the product are paid. Employment. A key industry, uh, a key industry sector that provide employment for about uh, two hundred seventy thousand, which uh, comprise mainly rural youth. Uh, just below eighty percent of uh, workforce comprise women in age group of eighteen to uh, twenty five years. Most of them are migrant workers from remote area of the country, married and young. Uh, these women workers are mostly with low education and qualification and unskilled. Out of the workers in the labor force of the sector, 22% are educated below GC O level, 59 up to GC O level and 90% of the GC A level. These workers do not get a proper, vac proper vocational training in order to be dressmaker. They are only made to sew some part of the dress. Therefore, they remain to be unskilled and uh, unable to improve their skill and become professional dressmakers, which may give the opportunity of obtain, uh, uh, obtain a, be a better job with a higher payment. These workers come to the city with, uh, with, city with the dreams of saving money for their dowry and overcoming poverty. 
uh, as far as workers in the northern part are considered most if the women are victim of the war which uh, prolong for 30 years they have lost their breadwinners in the war and led the single headed families place issues and uh, rights violation the thousands of women workers in the free trade zone face economic social and cultural issues the exploitation of labor tangible through importantly in incentives extended working hours poor of non existent occupational health and safety practices precarious work with little job security obstacles of of a decent living wage repressions of the right of organized to form a union or bargaining collectively they work under poor to very poor working condition in, inside the factories as well as outside the production factories pose in both occupational health and safety living risk exposure to uh, gender based violence including sexual assault harassment etc observation we have been made a poor uh, occupational safety for the workers in many instances the workers would find themselves facing the challenges of workers on the same posture to extend hours working under strong electric light uh, inhaling practices emotion from cloth or dust expose them to uh, respiratory and other physically illnesses the workers are not allowed wear masks and gloves as well as it will uh, slow down the productivity only uh, then then the auditors are present they are allowed to wear them uh, there was an incident 2 years ago uh, where a 22 years old uh, asthma patient was severely ill due to uh, inhalation of the dust after admitting to the hospital she died after 4 days the doctor's report said she had died from uh, pneumonia so that her family did not receive in any compensation several studies have uh, indicated the because of subsistence gap between the daily wages and cost of living most of the women workers deprived uh, of decent meal balanced diet while excessive work hours ex- employed them to skip meal considerably making them malnutrition according to a study carried out by department of labor in 2009 it was found that 62% of women employment in the katunayaka free trade suffering under anemia in addition uh, they are not uh, permitted to drink water in order to prevent them from going to the toilets they get 15 minute break in the morning and the afternoon and a half a hours break for lunch if the target is not covered they are working hours are prolonged without breaks the workers are scared to take in uh, these breaks since they do not want to have have their incentive bonus out of b detected in the northern factories the female workers are distributed with tablet to have the monthly menstruation de- de- delayed they are incident uh, where the menstruation was completely stopped for some women it uh, prevent them from being pregnant the poor health and nutrition condition of these female workers is not only affected their life at present they are future as well as they became mother the repercussion they also be served with the possibility of affecting their children <coughs> the average workers in grade 3 in the industry receive a minimum wage of 13000 Uh, and uh, their gross salary salary is uh, 15500 per month this minimum wage is relatively too low compared 
uh, to the other sectors, government sector in particular, which is thirty-five thousand, which are meager income. These young migrant women workers are unable to meet their required standard of nutrition. <coughs> With the existing cost of living, a worker is complete uh, to spend more than sixty percent of wage received. As a result, the workers have to work twelve to sixteen hours overtime uh, for earning uh, to meet the daily requirement and the and in expenses of quality of life. By the uh, this overtime, a uh, personal uh, and incentive bonus, attendant bonus, the manage to earn additional allowance to their income in order to earn these bonuses they have to sacrifice their breaks medical and annual leave and free time campaign struggle and difficulties face mobilizing the workers our organization work together with the female workers and uh, other civil society organization to pressure government and private sector contribute for complying local and international labor laws and human rights of the workers to live with dignity we have established linkages with asia flow wage alliance and clean clothes campaign so as to begin to fair living wage and improvement of health and working condition of the workers among the stakeholders since 1984 we have been organizing strike demanding for better health and working condition i would like to mention some example of the issues we campaign uh, for a recent year yes in 2011 the government wanted to introduce a pension scheme which uh, uh, which uh, 20 2% of the salary will be deducted monthly and after 15 years they will receive a pension of 2000 the workers opposed to this pension system as in reality the workers work only the 5 years and therefore they will not to completely entitle this pen, to this pension we supported to this strike with a silent protest in front of the boi uh, for uh, 68 months during this was shot dead to became handicapped and thousand were severely wounded and ultimately the government withdrew the act in 2014 uh, there was a case uh, where uh, 3350 workers were food poisoning eating the meals provided in the factories 150 of them had been admitted to the hospital and two of them got into intensive care and one died such in- incident occurred once in two months we have filed several cases against these incidents we achieved to obtain the some amount of maternity leave as the government sector formerly uh, the workers in the private sector got 84 days of leave uh, including maternity leave wherever the government sector had 84 days of maternity leave one of the most frequently issues in the gender based violence which have to be fought the female workers are harassed by the men supervisors and technicians in 2017 <coughs> there was a case where a technician refused to repair the machine in the female worker did not agree to have a sexual relationship with him as she was punished for a on productivity by uh, reducing 4000 rupees finally after one year she had to agree when his relationship was caught by his technician's wife the woman worker was severely attacked we are uh, done uh, these activities for uh, mobilized women workers we are working together with Uh, national human rights commission and the women uh, women's committee uh, we publishing a monthly 
న్యూస్ పేపర్ వి ఆర్ కండక్టెడ్ వర్క్ షాప్ ఆన్ అవేర్నెస్ రేసింగ్ ఆన్ వర్క రైట్స్ విమెన్ రైట్స్ జెండర్ బేస్ వైలెన్స్ సెక్షువల్ అండ్ రీప్రొడక్టివ్ హెల్త్ రైట్స్ అండ్ ఆక్యుపేషన్ హెల్త్ అండ్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ వి ప్రొవైడ్ ఇన్ లీడర్షిప్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రొవైడ్ ఇన్ సెల్ఫ్ డిఫెన్స్ కోర్సెస్ కండక్టింగ్ డైలాగ్ విత్ ద స్టేక్ హోల్డర్స్ నెట్వర్క్ విత్ ట్రేడ్ యూనియన్ అండ్ సివిల్ సొసైటీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ నేషనల్ అండ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ క్యాంపెయిన్ విత్ ఏషియా ఫ్లో వేస్ట్ అండ్ క్లీన్ క్లోత్స్ క్యాంపెయిన్ ఇన్ఫోమ్ గెదరింగ్ విత్ ఇన్ఫోమ్ అ డిస్కషన్ బికాస్ దే ఆర్ హ్యాస్ అ లిమిటెడ్ టైమ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు దే ఆర్ బోర్డింగ్ ప్లేసెస్ అండ్ గెదరింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దిస్ ఈస్ అవర్ న్యూస్ లెటర్ వీ ఆర్ దిస్ ఈస్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ అనివర్సరీ న్యూస్ లెటర్ వి ఆర్ వి this is uh, this uh, we are uh, we born international uh, collective uh, because the we have uh, we have uh, mo- more strong uh, labor laws but uh, workers are only uh, 5% in uh, mobilizing in trade union because they are coming here into uh, rural area they are working in 5 years uh, go back to their villages this uh, problem to uh, mobilize uh, uh, young women workers uh, 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 we uh, i uh, we thought uh, uh, we want to globally uh, support for boycott their brands because uh, uh, one year the uh, three four time uh, auditors are came but it is not a uh, uh, transparency because sometimes they are uh, we have uh, 60% uh, 60 60 hours of the uh, overtime per month but uh, some majority factory are uh, factory workers work with uh, 100 uh, hours per month but uh, the auditors are coming they are uh, uh, they have two payrolls Uh, they are 60 uh, hours at their pay sheet uh, other 40 hours at uh, another slip this uh, there is a not uh, transparency but we uh, are uh, like uh, with uh, work with together uh, we we because of the majority are uh, some uh, chennai factory our uh, our workers are work with them uh one day we have uh, main uh, demonstration in front of their factory because uh, 22 years worker was died and there are so many violation we are demonstration because they are uh, code of conduct have they pay uh, living wage but they have no minimum wage after that this demonstration they are caught our uh, members and uh, blaming why are you joining with the collective uh, we, we are uh, uh, interdict you uh, uh, it is very famous uh, protest uh, some uh, printed media and social media published this case uh, finally we lost our membership uh, uh, we are trying uh, get together work with globally uh, and uh, locally how we uh, work together yeah <laughs> thank you